Ladies and gentlemen, good evening. Papa Boris here, playing some more Krumit's Tale. So we've actually managed to win just with Greybeard, Muldorf, and Rose. Bruno and Mischief have now each failed twice, which is hilarious. Let's go ahead and do Muldorf. Now that means that we are going into New Game Plus One, which is... Oh my god. This is diff... It changed! Oh my god, I had no idea it changed. Wow, so the, the new games have all changed. Alright, well I gotta look at this, because I did not know this. That means I actually had some bad commentary. Okay, it used to be... Wait a minute, what? Yeah, max health. Yep. Yep. Mm-hmm. Yep. Correct. Yep. Uh-huh. Wait a minute, so Moldorf has a different New Game Plus system? So his is minus one max deck size. Very interesting. So I guess he starts with minus two max health. It used to be he just had another minus two from a new game plus one, but for him it's minus one max deck. That doesn't seem as big of a deal. Well, we'll see. I wonder, I guess, what card is missing from his deck when the size of the deck was reduced by one. That would be the question. I actually don't know, because I've never seen this before. Okay, cool. So anyway, uh, new game plus one getting a bit of an unrepresentative sample, I guess. I guess most of the other characters just have a minus two penalty to their HP. Muldorf has that to begin with, and now he has minus one deck size, whatever that means. So now we have to do this level. Um, I guess we'll just kill a guy. We would like to not have um, used up any tiles by the time this is all over. So the question is, do I pay three health to get a minion? I mean, it's really all math. How much health do I save with this minion? Well, if I pay three health to get the minion, I essentially save three health because he can eat a gobloid attack for me. Now, the problem is that these gobloids have blitz, so he's only going to take one attack from me. He's not going to take another. I think I'll do this because it's the same thing and maybe better. Oh, no, I'm totally wrong. What am I, I can pitch tombstones for health, so that's clearly wrong. Well... See what happens. So let's pitch this tombstone for health, which also heals my skeleton, but not enough for the skeleton to survive a hit. Okay, so I guess we'll do a gobloid. Maybe I should have just done Muldorf's natural thing. I mean, he can heal for two after killing an enemy by pitching the tombstone, so he, like, naturally um, just takes only one net damage. Yeah, maybe that would have been the smart thing. Well, let's pick up this health file, I guess. Drink one potion, so I can then take three damage without dying. And then after I pitch this one, my skeleton is healed. I guess that worked out right because I had the health potion, so I guess it's fine. Now the skeleton can take a hit for me. And then Moldorf has just enough HP that he can take this last hit. Bloop. Maybe there would have been some weird way to like get those armors that reduce the cost of summoning a skeleton. Summon an extra skeleton for five more gems? I'm not sure. Okay, what do we got going on here? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I love this thing so much. It's so... These two are really good together. I'm gonna take it. I, it's probably stupid, but I'm gonna do it anyway because I'm dumb. All right. And we get a really good tile, actually. This increases the attack of minions by one when you acquire it, and it's chain mail. Um, this is fine, and that's fun, but we're just going to grab the cabins. So I, I kind of stumbled upon it last time, and apparently it actually works to do the whole uh, minions buffing damage thing, so we're going to try it. Now, can I figure out what is missing? Ugh, I don't know if I can. Oh, uh, let's see, treasure chest potion. There's two of these. These size. These are the items I hate. I don't know what's actually missing from this deck that, um... Because it's, it's definitely not any of the shitty cards, that's for sure. Well, I was hoping to not have the two sides, not have the two armors, or the two life sips, or the hardy bones. I mean, I, really, I just love, I guess I just don't like any of Moldorf's starting cards. But whatever is missing, I hope it wasn't anything too good. Nah. Wait a minute. I can't buy anything in the shop? I don't have enough room to buy anything in the shop. Very interesting. Very interesting indeed. Okay, well, let's see. What is this? Enemies in there with less... Oh, that's interesting. The problem is, is three gold is a lot to pay for that. Uh, that, I like that a lot. Increases the damage of your minions. Yes, please. I'm going to defeat enemy shuffle a royal. So the problem with this is you have to then pay three health to get an ancient skeleton. I don't think it's worth it. 
This is piercing on life, so that could be okay, but it's such low damage. Yeah, I can always get a lockbox, I guess. I could do an early refresh, try to get something really good early on. Seems a bit weird. Let's just do it. Okay. Well, there's actually quite a few good things here. I'm a big fan of this because the tiles that you discard include the tombstones. And so this thing can get pretty cheap and you can get a garbage golem, which is really great. They heal a lot. We can get this for more attack buffing on the skeletons or this. I like this a lot as well because you can get an ancient skeleton right away and it kills, you know, anything. Four gold is a lot, but you are getting a skeleton. I'm just going to take this and then we're going to look for gold. Sadly, I don't have the gems to get the garbage golem or I would. Now, let's get rid of some trash. I really hate life sip, so we're going to just pitch both of those. And then, um, I could actually now buy another... Ha I'm going to buy another one of these hats. It's like a chain mail. Now, the chain mail is worse in light of the fact that my base attack is one, so I cannot, for example, kill a globber anymore. No, I totally can. I can totally kill a globber. Uh, I block it, and then when it's parried, I hit it with my minion that I began the game with, and then it dies. It's the same thing. Okay, perfect. So, yeah, this is fine. I'm pleased. Okay, so there's my skeleton that I get from my ventriloquist stamp. It's a very, very nice start. The globbers are definitely the easier thing to deal with. In fact, let me just go ahead and um, kill it with my skeleton, because I can. Blorp. And now I have a choice. I can either get a new minion or I can pitch this to heal my skeleton so I can kill another globber. Ah, uh, it's an interesting question, actually. It's a very interesting... I mean, is it that interesting? I guess it's not that interesting of a question. No, it's a, it's, it's fine. I'm going to get a skeleton because he also has three attack. I can use this one now to kill the globber. You see. And then now I can... Pitch this tombstone to heal myself. Most of the damage I spent getting my other minion. And also heal each of my minions here. So now each of them can take another hit from a globber. Now I could buy this captain's hat. Yeah, let's buy this captain's hat. This seems good. Now why not the soul feast? Well, because if I get the captain's hat, what I can do is I can block an attack from the globber. With my own puny self. My damage is irrelevant, but the important thing is that now I can kill this globber and I protected some damage on my skeletons with this. And I gave them an attack buff. Now I can pitch this tombstone, I think, pretty happily to heal up my skellies. And then this other globber. Well, why don't we just whack like this to kill this one? Um, and I'm gonna get this to increase their health and max attack. And now, what I can do is, yeah, yeah sure, we'll do this. This is fine. So I now am going to actually finish it off myself, or I could have used the other skeleton. Either way, it's fine. And the idea is we can pitch a tombstone, which heals both skeletons and gets rid of the poison. So I can do it again. Actually, you know what would have been smarter was for me to take the poison damage. Then I get the full value of the healing of the tombstone. See, I can take the poison on myself. Take two damage. And then... Oh, it's over? Oh, shit. I should, I should have made another skeleton for five more gems. Oops, I didn't realize it was going to... God, that was so much fun. I was just having a blast. I didn't want it to end. Alright, what are you? Oh, yeah, that, I got it last time, never really used it, but, I mean, it can be very good if you get damage and you, like, swap with a Swamp Golem and kill it. After you parry, swap current health values with your non-boss opponent. Uh, interesting. It's a big block. I'm gonna take Soul Link. I could be wrong about that, but we'll see. Okay, so I'm looking for bonus damage. And this is dumb, this is mostly dumb, this is, eh, it could be okay, I could spend the gems to buy some stuff now, and then the max health, you know, it's small, but it's something. Okay, this is for melee weapons, I think we're gonna take the miner. As weird as it seems, I just hate distorting decks so much, that, like, I, I'm still happy to get rid of both of these sides and the necromancy robes. And I could get rid of one of these hardy bones, I don't think I want two of them. So there's like four cards I'm completely happy to pitch. Also, you can totally pitch the treasure chest and uh, the health vial as well, if needed. Okay, so I am a big fan of this. I do think it's good to get more max health. I think this is a 
fine intermediary thing, because it can hit for 8, which is useful. Uh, so let's get rid of the scythe. And, I mean, this thing keeps popping up. I still haven't really gotten a, a lot, lot of gold stuff, so just loading up on this expensive stuff is not that useful. Lose one health when a tile is added. Clever. Okay. Well, let's just leave it there for now. Who's our boss? Ah, this guy. Alright, well, it's a bit of a tough one. I don't have any way of killing armor. I'm not going to do like a super great amount of piercing damage either, though Moldorf has some of that. We're just going to try to build up some big skellies and kill the guy with them. Okay, so how do we do this? Well, I think we're going to start by doing this. I think I liked my opening last time. I think it's correct to make another skeleton. Especially if the new one that you make can kill a thing on the board. Because then you can just pitch the tombstone and that comes up to the second enemy and heal both your guys. Okay, now these guys may be a little bit trickier. But if I can buff their attack to four, they will kill them in uh, two hits. So I can actually do this right now. The main issue is they hit for three on their first attack. So they're going to actually kill either of my guys right now. Unless I get the Soul Feast instead of the Captain's Hat. Oh, that's interesting. Okay, let's do that. Let's get the Soul Feast so their health goes up by one. And this lets them just survive these guys. In fact, let's do that with both of them. And now, the next few things, we're going to want to just eat the Tombstones for healing. For my skellies okay the question is what do i do about this guy well actually this makes sense let's go ahead and buy the captain's hat to boof boof <laughs> to boof to beef up their attacks to five and oh i'm an idiot i didn't actually want to block that attack because now i'm wasting the healing of the tombstone uh I'll eat the treasure chest. This could be a mistake, but let's now not waste the healing. How about that for a strategy? Not wasting resources, hey? And we'll do this. And so now I should really investigate the possibility of killing this guy right now because, you know, the more of his stuff I kill, the more armor he gets. So he does, Jesus, four, five, four, five. Well, shoot. That's really, really hard hitting. If I could have parried him, oh, maybe I should have bought that frickin' big armor. Okay, well, the first thing's a four, so if I bought a captain's hat, with the two of them together, I could parry one of his attacks. Oh, goodness. Okay, we're gonna try it. So now they're up to six, which is... Oh, wait, that's actually... Hold on, hold on. With six, they can just one-shot these skeletons. Okay, so let's do that, and um, I'm gonna heal them, not me, sadly. I will actually just take the damage here. I'm going, be, I'm going to be pitching this health stone anyways. Or the, the tombstone anyways. Uh, I'm going to actually take another two damage. And then I'm going to bring out my skelly. To kill the guy. Wait, are there, is their max health only... Oh god, I thought their, ma their max health was six. Oops. Okay, well let's um make it three higher. So now this only heals me. It doesn't actually heal my skeletons anymore. That's a bit of a mistake. Well, let's go ahead and pop on in here. So there's six. And then, well, is it, if I if I switch, four, five, four. Ah, oh, they're one health short of being able to take two fours. Okay, let's just not count it too much. Let's just do the four. Blorp. And then let's do the other guy. So where are we at now? Okay, so now I can do this to parry. Yes, this works beautifully. So now the five attack was canceled. And there we go. Beautiful. So now I can just pitch the tombstone. And I'm actually going to make a skeleton just for basically five extra gems. And there you have it. Well, that was a really nice start for New Game Plus One. I hope it continues to be this awesome. Thanks for watching, everybody. Hope you enjoyed it. Please like and or subscribe, and I'll see you again soon. Take care. Oh, by the way, I guess if you want to see what I'm taking. <laughs> All right, let's take a look at a perk here. 
Uh, so that's always fine. Although as Mulder, if you don't actually heal from discarding items, so that does kind of reduce their value. This is, I'm not going to be attacking them very much. It doesn't apply to my minions. This is, well, not so much. These are twos. Okay, I'm going to, am I using any ones? Soul Link. So this is two already. This is two already. This is two already. This sucks to have it be two, but this thing, yeah. Okay, we're gonna do this. this we did this last time too. I'm gonna take balanced so that my um thing that summons the ancient skeleton only costs two, and it's like an assassinate thing that costs two gold. It's really really strong. All right, um, you're missing. Yeah, gosh, these are all just bad. I guess I'll take this because it's a weapon. But honestly, I think that no, I should probably do this. I just don't think I'm going to be using weapons this run. I feel like it's just going to be my skeletons doing all the work. Okay. So what are you? Destroy your minions and destroy the minions. I don't think I'm going to be doing that. Uh, I don't think I'm going to be doing this either because I start with a skeleton. This just never seems to work out well. I guess we'll take another one of those to get more maximum health. This thing does cost two rather than three, but it's still just bad. I have so many gems. I need to just find something better. Okay, I'll try the sphere now that it only costs two. What are we doing here card-wise? Well, I still don't like the scythe. And I still don't like this treasure chest. I'm gonna just pitch that, and I'm gonna commit to buying something. Oh, I hate this thing. Yeah, let's just get rid of it. I'm gonna buy two things, for sure. Okay. So what I think I'm gonna do is grab a, grab a lockbox, and then recharge. Ah, oh, this is always very tempting. But last time I did... Oh, no, no, no. This is bad. It it, uh, it costs two gold. So that's terrible. It's terrible. Okay. Uh, this thing is good. I will definitely take that to buff their attack. And yeah, we're fine. So we're going all in on the minion strat here. Let's, you know, see how that works out for me. Anyway, bye for real this time. See you soon.